Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to a new playthrough on the channel. We're back from the desert world of Arrakis last week, so it's time once again for my Tack Up Wargaming list to take center stage. The second game from my list will be the subject of today's video, Field Commander Rommel from Dan Versen Games. In this game, we take control of the Axis forces led by Erwin Rommel in various historical battles. The scenarios featured in this game are Al El Alamein, his most famous failure in Africa, where the Allies held on the Campaign of the Africa Corps for Africa. D-Day, and as a fun fact, I actually didn't know that Rommel was involved in D-Day, or supposed to be, until just recently. And the subject of today's scenario, Ghost Division. This is supposed to be the most difficult scenario in the box, so we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, let's move over to the board and, and introduce everything. So here are the, here's the board all set up to start the game. The Allied forces are starting with the 4th fourth, the fourth Infantry Division and the 5th DIM, which is, looks like a mobile division in... What is that? That's Dinant. Then we've got the Chasseur Division in Brussels. Then we've got two armored divisions in one of the the strongholds that we need, or one of the objectives that we need in Ara in Arras. Then we've got tenth the tenth Durham, first Tyneside, and eleventh Durham in Cambrai, which is our second objective. Then our last one is way over here in Cherbourg, out in France. Then we've got the third mobile division down here in Reims. Those are all the Allied forces, and we've got one. Looks like we got the fifth. Mobile Division down in the Allied Operations, which I'll explain more about as we go through the game. Then our starting forces up here in Liege, we've got the 78th Artillery, and then just to introduce what these tokens are, you've got three numbers on each of them. I was kind of glossing over the Allied forces. The first one is what they hit on or less when they attack. Second one is their defense, same idea. Then the third number is their, mobi their mo mobility value, so that's how much they can move in a turn. We've also got the 25th Panzer Division, which introduces a new type of number, a subscript. So normally a division, so normally a unit only does one hit of damage when it hits, but if you roll the subscript value, in this case a two or less, you actually do two hits. Then the Panzers defend on a 3 or less and have a mobility of 3. Then we've got the 7th Schutzen and 6th Schutzen Infantry Divisions, both of which are 2s across the board. We've got a couple more Panzer Divisions in Reinforcements and SS Totem, Totemkopf. I'm going to butcher the German pronunciation on that. We also have battle plans over here to the side. You might be able to see some of them. But I won't actually go through them until I purchase them in battle. But anyway... I think with that, we're all set to go, so let's go ahead and get right into this game. I've got a couple of spin downs up here. Those are just going to be to help me to track the number of hits that each division, that each unit does. So, for our first turn, we'll advance the campaign turn to May 12th to 19th, 1940. So that's the start of the... That's the advanced turn counter. Then we refit at, a, at minus two supplies per refit, but everything right now is at full strength, so I should have showed that off. Where each each unit will have a front, where we'll have a full strength, then a reduced side, so their stats will be reduced. Then if each if a unit takes two hits, they'll be destroyed. Then we have battle movement, so I think we'll send everything into Dinant to try to advance there. Now we get into the battle plan form. So the way we determine battle plans is actually down here in the board. So the allies for each full strength allied unit, and we have two there, we get two battle plans for the allies. So they will get to draw, so they'll draw their battle plans. They'll be in this bag. I've got a bunch of bags over here keeping everything somewhat organized. So the Allies get two battle plans, and I get to see their battle plans before I buy mine. And there are the two battle plans that we'll draw for the Allies. I'll throw some bits of string out in the garbage, because those bags are still a little bit annoying, but their first battle plan that they draw...
is an error raid. So, so before any combat starts, we'll roll a, a die. On a one to three, they'll deal one hit. Then the other battle plan that they have AT guns. So if they roll a one to two, they'll deal another hit. Now looking at my battle plans, um, so I actually, so the way I get battle plans is for every full strength unit I have, I actually get supply point, I actually get battle plan points. So you'll see on the Axis battle plans, I don't know if I'm going to buy this exploit or not, probably not. But you can see, it might be hard to, it might be a little bit hard to see. I'll see if the camera can focus on it. And I'll bring it in. Try to bring it in so it's a little easier to read. Okay, I think that's as far as we can go. But you can see a number in parentheses down there. That's the number of battle plan points it actually costs. So what do I want to do for battle plans? I have a total of eight to work with. So I think... Do I care about canceling those battle plans out? Because an intel would let me do that. Um, yeah, I think I do kind of care about that. So I'm going to buy an intel for two battle plan points, which will let me go, which will let me cancel one enemy, one random enemy plan out. Then I think I want to buy, buy a disrupt. So that will. So I get to roll a die. On a 1 to 3, I think that is, they'll lose 2 supplies. On a 4 to 6, they'll lose... On a 4 to 5, they'll lose 1. 6 will have no effect. Then I have 5 battle plan points left. Um, I think with that, we'll go... I think we'll buy an assault for four. So an armor or motorized unit, which is what the 78th artillery and the 5th dim are. So if we have a an armor or motorized unit that scores a hit, they score plus one hit. That could be very good if we get the 25th panzer to roll their, sub, their superscript value. And for one plan, I think we'll buy... I think we'll buy tactics as well, so we can re-roll a roll. With that, I'll bring the dice tower into shot. Hopefully it'll do a little bit better than, hopefully we'll have better rolls than we did with on to Moscow. So to resolve battle plans, Intel will go first and cancel one of the allied battle plans. I'm hoping Air Raid is the one that gets canceled, but we'll find out what happens here. The one that drops out of my hand once they decide to cooperate is the one that's getting canceled. So we'll keep that one. And that's the one that's getting canceled. So, so we actually lose the AT guns, which was a one to two for one hit. So it'll be a little bit easier for them to hit. But anyway, let's go ahead and roll for the let's go ahead and roll for the air raid for the allies. So if they roll a one to three, they score a hit. Then I'll I'll resolve hits at the end of the at the end of the battle. That's a five, so their air raid does nothing. Now let's see what our pre-battle plans do. So we'll go for disrupt first. I wouldn't mind knocking some supplies out for. I wouldn't mind knocking some supplies out for the allies. Or for, yeah, against the allies. That's a four, so they lose one supply. So that flips over into a three. All right, so that's all done. And now we'll go ahead and start rolling. So I'll roll for the, I'll roll for our forces first. So the infantry hits on a two or less. That's a three, so they don't hit. Then the six shoots in will also roll on two or less they hit. That's a three, so they don't hit either. The 78th Artillery hits on a three or less. 
That's a three, so we get one hit. And then let's see what happens with the 25th Panzer Division. Hopefully we roll a two or less. But we do have an but we do have assault. That's a five, which I will use tactics to re-roll. Because I really want to try to get the, the superscript value. But I do have the 78th artillery that's already hit, so I can use them to get another hit. That's a two, actually, so we'll use the 25th Panzer to deal another hit. So the 25th Panzer will deal a total of three hits. Which means we are going to flatten everything here. So we'll roll for the 24th. They defend on it. They have inflict a hit on a two or less. That's what the middle number... That's what the middle number is when they're defending. So they defend on a two or less. That's a three, so they don't defend. And then the fifth, Dim defends on a three or less as well. That's a five, so they don't do anything to us. So we get, we get four hits, which means we get to flatten both of these units. So everything will move into Dinant, and then we'll actually get to draw four upgrades. So we get to upgrade two of our units, which is going to be in my handy dandy Cthulhu bag. I think we'll go ahead and upgrade the fifth, 25th Panzer first. Actually, do we have to, do we have to, I gotta double check something. I'm not sure if we get to select the unit, if we have to select the unit, or if we get to see the upgrade first. I think we have to select the unit first that we're upgrading. Both upgrades, since only one of my forces survived, I'm detailed in the upgrade selection. So at the end of battle, each side receives one upgrade for each enemy force that was destroyed in battle. Um, determine how many upgrades for each upgrade. Draw an upgrade counter and look at both. Okay, so we get to see the upgrades first. So we'll draw two upgrade tokens out of this bag, and then I get to decide how I want to assign them. So we'll draw these two. I think we start off with the veteran side, right? E... Yes, place with the veteran side face up. So let's look at these. So this first upgrade will just make it easier to hit and gives them extra mobility value. And then this one gives plus one battle plan point. So if we use that in a battle, we get one extra battle plan point. Um, I think I'm going to assign the... Veteran upgrade that increases hit by one to the sixth Schutzen. And we'll assign the... So now it'll hit on a three or less and has three mobility value. Then we'll assign the plus one battle plan point to the 25th Panzer Division. All right, so that's all done. We don't have any... We're not going to get to have any battle plan or any... um. Um, we're not going to have any non-battle moves because everything else right now would take us into battle. I'm not in love with charging into Cambrai anyway right now with three infantry divisions there, or three infantry regiments waiting for us there. Uh, let's see, then we have supply checks, so we don't, so those are the, that's this number down here on the map, but we're in a section where we don't have to worry about any supply. So now we get resupply points. So that's up here. Two points per allied objective held. We don't currently hold any allied objectives, which are these three. Two point two per axis force that did not move this turn, which we moved all of our axis forces. Then we get one per allied force destroyed since the last resupply step. So we get, so we actually will get, um, if held, Liege, Lil, Paris. Okay, so. <coughs> So it looks like we get four resupply points then, which means we'll be just short of being able to deploy the deploy another Panzer division, which I want to do at some point. So I think with that in mind, I will just deploy. I will just buy. Let's see, with four, I think I'll just buy two more supplies. Actually, buy them in two. So I'll buy four more supplies. So I'll go up to. So I'll go up to seven supplies. And then for the other three, I'll deploy the SS Totenkopf 
to, Le to Liege. And then that's the end of my turn. So the Allies go through their turn next. They would refit as well, but they don't have any, any units to refit right now. Then we go for the Allied Operation check. For, so for that, I think we need... It's this bag, it looks like. So basically, we'll draw a chit out of here and then do what it tells us to do. Pull that one out. Throw some more string in the garbage. And then here we'll find... Plus one force, so that doesn't do anything right now, but when they draw their go order, they will actually... When they draw their go order, I think we established this was the operation bag, right? Yes. Okay, so when they... So we'll draw another force out of there. That'll be part of their operation. That's battle plans. Here's allied forces. So when they draw their command, their go command, this will be part of the... This will be part of the force going with it, and we draw the first armored division. That's not good. So right now it's a four with a superscript of two, so if it rolls a four or less, it hits. If it rolls a two or less, it inflicts two hits. Defends on a three and has three movements, so that'll be part of the operation as well for the allies. Then we go through the allied orders, so... Allied orders for each region, If allied, for allied forces in an objective. So if one or two allied forces are in a, are in a place, so the Chasseur holds in Brussels. Actually, they're not even, they're not in an objective, so we'll come back to them in a minute. Arras, both of those armor divisions will hold. Then in Cambrai, since we have three, one force of the highest attack advances, except they all have the same amount of what you call them. They all have the same amount of attack, which this I actually don't mind because I didn't, I did not want to charge into the heart of, I did not want to try to charge into the heart of the, I did not want to charge into Cambrai right now with three forces. So since they're all the same, we'll bring the dice tower back in shot. We'll roll a, we'll roll a die at random to determine which one moves. 1-2 for the 11th Durham, 3-4 for the 10th Durham, 5-6 for first Tyneside. A 6, so that's first Tyneside will advance. They're going to charge right into the heart of the new Axis units, in the heart of the Axis forces in Dinant. So, so we're going to have another battle, which means the, which means the first Tyneside is actually attacking, and now our forces are defending. So the Allies... So the first Tyneside will get one battle plan for the... Um, we'll get one battle plan for the full-strength allied unit. They're only at three supplies right now, so... We need to keep an eye on that. And their plan... Is tactic, so they can re-roll one roll. Um, okay, so now I actually have... So now with, so now with the, the, four, the four units here, each, all of them are at full strength right now. So two, four, six. And then this one actually gives me three battle plan points for a total of nine. Um, okay, so I think... I think now I, I think I'm going to buy Disrupt again because I was so handy for us last turn. This time I'm going to buy Exploit, because I think there's a decent chance with four units I'll be able to... I'll be able to make an advance, so I'll advance if enemy units are destroyed. I've got six left. Uh, let's go for an overrun for three, which will give me plus one attack and plus one defense. So I've got three left. Um, let's go for... Let's go for an air raid, giving me, on a 1 to 3, I get a hit, and I will buy, I'll buy a tactics as well, so I can re-roll one roll. So that's all nine of my battle plans. We'll roll for the allies first. 
So they are hitting on, they're hitting on a two or less because they're attacking. A five, which they'll obviously re-roll in a heartbeat. A two, which will give them a hit. All right, so their tactics is gone now. So their tactics is done. Then we'll resolve our battle plans. So first up, we'll dis we'll try to disrupt. So once again, we want a we want to see a we want to see anything but a six, basically. That's a two. So they actually lose two supplies and go down to one, which might not matter in a minute, but. Anyway, so now now we defend. Now we have to worry about the middle number. So the seventh Schutzen defends on a two or less. That's a two, so that'll be one hit. Um, actually, okay, so they actually defend on a three or less because I forgot about the overrun. So we did the dis disrupt. Let's do the air raid next, just so I don't forget. That's a three, so that's already two hits. This is probably going to be overkill, but the... All right, so we rolled for the seventh Schutzen. The sixth Schutzen next, our veteran unit, they hit on a... They'll hit on a three or less. So that's a three, so they'll do another hit. I wish trample... I wish like something like trample was a thing, but uh, alas, it's not. All right, so I'm rolling for the 78th Artillery next. That's a one, so that's another hit. Then the... Then the 25th Panzer Division. They defend on a four or less. That's a two, so we did five hits, and I didn't re-roll... Um... We won't re-roll anything on that, so... All right. Which means we do have to inflict a hit. I'll inflict it on the seventh shoots in because I think they're probably staying put. But the first time side has been destroyed. And then we get to exploit. So where do we want to advance to? Do I think we're going to advance toward... Uh, the question is, are we ready to charge into Cambrai here? No, I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather come up here and deal with Brussels first. So, I think we'll bring the 25th Panzer up here, and we'll send the, we'll send the 6th Schutzen as well. Actually, we'll send the 78th Artillery as well. Like I said, we're going to leave the 7th Schutzen back, so we're exploiting here. Which means now we're back on the attack. So, the Allies get their battle plan, get their one battle plan for the... Chasseur division there. So their one battle plan is to exploit to advance if all enemy units are destroyed. I'm not too I'm not too busted up about the about that plan happening. Now before I purchase my battle plans, I need to take a small break. I almost forgot, before we left the battle in Dinant, we do get an upgrade because we destroyed the first Tyneside. So, I have to decide if I want to upgrade the... If I want to upgrade one of my existing units, or one of the units that hasn't been upgraded yet, and... I think we'll upgrade the 25th Panzer, so we'll flip its veteran unit over to... So we'll flip its veteran... Over to Elite. So now I get plus two battle plan points, which means I get a total of two, four, eight battle plan points. So what do I want to do with that? Um, I think we will exploit again. We'll send... Uh, we'll, over, we'll try to overrun, so that brings us up to five... Six with the Disrupt, and seven, eight with an Air Raid. So we'll roll for the Air Raid, we'll roll for the Air Raid first. Uh, 
All right, that's a three, so we do get a hit off of that. So air raid is done. Now we'll roll for disrupt. Once again, once again, just anything but a six will take the allies completely out of supplies. That's a three, so the allies are now out of supplies, which is very good for us. So disrupt is done. We'll roll for the fifth Panzer first. They hit on, they basically get an auto hit because of the, because of overrun. They'll do another two hits though, because why not? Then for the 78th Artillery, they hit on a four or less. That's a four, so that's another hit. Then the six Schutzen hits on a three or less. We are flattening the Chasser unit this turn. That's a five, so they actually don't hit. We'll see what the Chasser do. Chasser's division does. They defend on a two or less. And they get absolutely flattened with a six. So this unit gets destroyed. And I will upgrade the... What is this unit? What does this upgrade to? Um, I think we're actually going to upgrade the six Schutzen. So their veteran will flip over to an elite. So they get a superscript value of one now, hitting on a three or less. They defend on a three or less and have three movement value. So we moved from Denant for one. We do get to exploit. So now I think we are ready to charge into Cambrai. We'll send the 25th Panzer. Well, actually, we'll send everything down at down at these two infantry divisions. So that means we're going to have yet another battle because we're moving so fast. Um, actually, you know what? Let me move back up here. Actually, we do advance. We advance, so I think we do have to charge into the next division. So, so we've got the allies basically racked on their heels right now. So. We'll draw their two battle plans out. There's the... Come on. Well, we've got one. And we'll pull this one out for two. All right, so... The first battle plan... So the battle plan's here for the allies. First up... We have Ambush, so they roll first during the first round of battle, and Disrupt, so similar to what we've been using to disrupt the Allies. Alright, so I have eight battle plan points. I think I'm going to use two of them on Intel because I want to cancel one of those. Um, disrupt doesn't do anything right now because they're out of supplies. We'll go for an assault, so we've got an armor and a motorized division, so if one of them scores a hit, they'll score another one. So that leaves me two points, which I will use for... Mm, I'll use that for an air raid. So Intel will go first, which will cancel one of the allied battle plans. Mm, that one will cancel, and that one will drop out of the hand. Or, no, the one in my hand I keep, this one we're canceling. So which one are we canceling? We're canceling the Disrupt. So we protect our supplies, but the allies will get to roll first. Which is fine. Okay, so... We roll for the... So we'll roll for the allies' attacks first. So they both defend on a two or less. So for the 10th Durham, that's a 6, so they do nothing to, so that, so the 10th Durham does nothing to us. Now for the 11th, the 11th will get it, will score a hit. So the Allied battle plan is done. Now for us, we'll roll for the air, now for the Axis, we'll roll for the air raid. We want a 1 to 3 here. That's a 1, so we get a hit off of that. We'll roll for the 25th Panzer first. They hit on a 5 or less superscript. They do 2 damage. If I, and if I roll a 2, we're just going to win here. That's a 4, so that is going to be... 
Actually, we'll take that for the two hits. Oop. So we should be at seven points for the axis. All right, then the 70th artillery hits on a three or less. One more hit and one more hit from one of these divisions or from one of these regiments and we'll flatten and we'll take Cambrai. That's a one, so that's actually the last hit we need. Then the sixth shoots in. Is a five, which we don't get to reroll, so that's fine. All right, so we do have to wound one of our units. We'll wound the 78th artillery. So I'll probably move them back up to Lille on... Um, Probably roll, move them back up to Lille, so I have another four. So I have a forward, um, so I have a forward re uh, reinforcement point. Actually, yeah, we'll move them forward, so we have a. We'll we'll do that. So we wound them, and then the four units are enough to take out both of these units. So those go on the destroyed forces pile. Uh, we flipped both of these over, so that means the 78th artillery is getting an upgrade, and then it's getting flipped over immediately. So I'll grab the I'll grab the upgrade bag once again. All right, there's our upgrade. So veteran for plus one battle plan point. So the 70th artillery is gonna be also good for a lot of battle plans. Anyway. That was just the Allied Orders, because we used a lot of exploiting to get into Cambrai already. So now the Allies go through their resupply check, and I think I covered up the Allied resupply... I think I covered up the Allied resupply... Oh no! We haven't done the third yet. So they're Allied Orders, so they're not in a... They're not in an objective, so I'll need to roll for their orders. As we get over here... Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to cover that up, but I don't think I'm gonna have a choice. I think I'm gonna have to roll that, then move the tower so I can see what they're actually doing. All right, so that's a three. Then when we come to the chart, they're actually moving toward. So the third's actually moving toward Paris, which is probably one of the. Which is honestly probably one of the smartest things they can do right now, just to get away from our current juggernaut. But on that, but aside from that, so now we go through the Allied resupply. So we roll once for Cannes, Calais, and Paris. So we'll bring the dice tower. Actually, let me go look at the less imposing dice tower. I'll be right back on that. I'm just gonna double back to my closet. And grab the smaller dice tower out. That thing is very imposing, so I can put that right there and still see the and still see the Allied resupply up here. Good. All right. So, so can Calais Paris? Well, I got a plus three modifier if the Axis holds the area, which right now they don't. So here, so Can is going to get. So the Allies are going to get four supplies out of that. Then for Calais... A two is going to give them another force, which will go right on the board at Calais. So the force that's joining the battle... is this one. It's another armor division. Oh joy. Which that's actually good and bad because the we've already got one armor division in the Allied Operations Forces. I would rather not see another one if I can help it. So the last one I have to roll for is Paris. That's a five, so they get another four supplies. So they're right back up to eight. Which makes Disrupt a lot, which right now makes Disrupt a lot less attractive, but that's something I'll have to consider for next turn. But, but 
on that note, we are going to be into round two here, so we're back to the top of the sequence of play. Looking at the map, I'd like to be able to try to deploy a Panzer Division a little further a little further forward than Liege this turn. I'd like to be able to deploy it into either Par Paris ideally or Lille, but I can probably hold I can probably hold at least one of those. I can probably at least take one of those, but to start the turn we advance the turn counter, so we're on May 20th to the 27th, 19 1940. Then we refit. We've got two units that could use a refit, so we'll spend two supplies to refit both the 78th Artillery and the 7th Schützen. Uh, then what do we want to do for battle moves? Um, question is, are we ready to move into... Question is, where do I think it's going to be more useful to move into? Do I think it's going to be more useful to go to... Well, we have to go to a Ross. Paris is not as a tempting target because that gives us a forward point, but we're also into the we're also into supply into the supply check area, so I do need to be careful of that. I won't I don't think I'll have that problem though when we get into um I don't think we'll have that problem when we get into the by the time we have to check for access by the time we have to make our supply check, so I think we will throw everything at a... I think we probably will throw everything at a Ross here. We'll plan on having the 7th Schutzen come back, come behind us in the non-battle move phase and move into Cambrai to keep us... to give us control of that. So I think we are going to move everything into... We are going to move the 25th Panzer, 78th Artillery, and the 6th Schutzen into a Ross. Then we go for... um... yeah. Then we'll go for battle plans. So let's see. The Allies are going to get two battle plans out of here. Those will go to the side because those are, those are destroyed units for the Allies. So we'll get these two battle plans out. Our first battle plan is to press for one more round. So this could backfire on the Allies, but we'll see here. And on the second one, is to disrupt. So I guess the question, so right now I have, so I have three full strength German units, which gives me six supply points, which gives me six battle plan points, seven for the 78th Artillery, eight and nine for the 25th Panzer. So, I guess the question here is, do I think I'm going to be able to flatten both of them and advance? Um, an advance would take me into Calais, which is pretty, which is pretty tempting. Which would let me, which would let me play havoc with the Allied resupply checks. So that that makes for a very tempting target on that. Um, yeah, I think, I think we'll go for Intel. I think we'll go for Intel, though, because I want to try to protect the, try to protect my supplies if I can, but I can, I have potential to get a lot of supplies this turn because I'm going to be gaining, I'm going to be gaining at least four, six, Probably going to be getting at least six resupply points on my turn. So I'm going to use Intel to protect my supply points right now, which means I've got seven left. Um, Disrupt is a lot less appealing because of the just the sheer number of supplies they have. We'll take an Assault for four, and I've got three left. Which I think will go into... Um, yeah, I think we'll go into ex do I want exploit? Do I go exploit and AT guns? No, I think I go exploit and tactics. Mostly I'll be trying to get a 
mostly be trying to get a superscript hit, basically. So Intel will go off first, which will cancel one of these battle plans for the Allies. I'd prefer to see I'd prefer to see Press stay, but we'll find out what happens there. So that's the one we'll keep. That's the one we'll cancel. So this is the one we're canceling. We are canceling. We are canceling Disrupt, so that's perfect. So Press is the one I kind of wanted to keep, which has real potential to backfire on the Allies, but we'll go ahead and roll for our plan first. We do have one re-roll here, so we need to keep an eye on that. First we'll roll for the Panzer Division, which hits on a five or less, and a superscript... A superscript could potentially be very catastrophic for the Allies here. That's a four, so the question is, do I want... I don't think I want to re-roll that, so I'm going to take the... Actually, let's roll for the... Yeah, we'll take the two hits from the 25th Panzer there. Then the 78th Artillery hits on a three or less. Actually, is that a three? Yes, they get plus... They give us plus battle plan points. That's a three, so that's another hit. Then the 6th Schutzen hits on a 3 or less with a, sub, with a superscript on a 1. Wow, okay. Then the 4th RTR defends on a 3 or less, but we still have our tactics available to us. That's a 5, so that's a miss from the 4th RTR. Then the 7th also defends on a 3 or less. That's a three or less, which we'll re-roll from Tactics. That's a six, so it doesn't do anything to us. Which means we flatten all of these. And then the only unit we have left to flip is the 7th art 78th Artillery. So that flips into another plus two battle plan points. So we'll move all of those out of the way. Then we'll exploit and we'll send everything into Calais. So that's two movements, which means the 6th Schutzen will be staying put after this. So the Allies get... The Allies get one battle plan for this. So let's see what they pull. Actually, the 78th Artillery will be staying put as well. It'll be the 25th Panzer that's... It'll be the 25th Panzer. So the Allied Battle Plan first up. Another bit of strain, which is kind of annoying. Is digging, so they absorb one hit. Which means I have another nine... So I have nine battle plan points once again. I'm not particularly interested in the allies being able to absorb a hit, so I'm going to take an intel. I'll exploit again, because I do want to keep the panzer division moving, since I've got an eye on potentially heading for Paris next turn. Plus I need to break up that group up there so I don't have the... so I don't have the problem with the... So I don't have a problem on the axis on the supply check this turn. So I have five I have five points left. Um They're just gonna get a bunch of supplies. I th oh wait, they have eight supplies. They actually get So you get two more plans and two supply and lose two supplies. That could be a problem. So the allies actually draw three battle plans. They should have, which means they should have drawn three here as well. I'm not going to rewind that, though. Um, no, I'm not. So, yeah, the Allies should have two more battle plans up here. So they get one, yeah. So, plus two plans, minus two supplies. I knew was, this was looking a little too easy. All right, so those are the two more battle plans the Allies have. All 
All right, so they get an air raid as well, which we've seen to great effect, and disrupt. That could be a problem. I'm still keeping the intel, though. And I'm still going to exploit... Um, I think we'll go for tactics and assault. So intel goes off first, which will cancel one of the allied battle plans. Now I might actually be a little more interested in disrupt. So we'll keep... We'll keep those two and cancel that one. So we'll cancel... So we'll cancel the air raid, which would be a problem for us, but now we have to battle this out. So we'll, we'll roll the disrupt first for the allies. So now we want to see a six. So, of course, we see a three, which means we lose two supplies, so we're down to one. I'm probably going to be buying some more supplies on the Axis, bat on the, uh, axis Resupply step. So, let's go ahead and deal with this. So, the 25th Panzer... <clears throat> so, they hit on a five or less and, super and deal two hits on a two. So, I actually need... So, thanks to Diggin, I actually need three hits to take out the... I actually need three hits to take out the uh, 37th Armor Division. That is a two, so we get two hits off of... Actually, we'll take the three hits from that. And the six shoots and we'll get to roll. They hit on a three or less with a superscript of one. Alright, that's... Gonna be another hit for the 6th Schutzen and the 78th Artillery. Gets a 2. So that's 5 hits on the... Um, that's 5 hits for us. And then we have the hit... And then the 37th Armor defends on a 2 or less. That's a 1, so we'll reroll that. That's a six, so that does nothing for them. Which means we flatten the 37th Armor Division. Oop. And then we get to exploit. Now, the 6th Schutzen and the 78th Artillery have both moved as far as they could. We also have the... Um, I don't think we can upgrade a second... I don't think we can upgrade a second... We only have one upgrade counter attached to it. Okay, so we can't upgrade any of our units. But we can we can exploit. So the 6th Schutzen and the 78th Artillery have both moved as far as they could this turn. So we'll just move the 25th Panzer down toward Amiens since I want to since I'm planning on sending an attack to Paris this turn. Or sending an attack to Paris next turn, most likely. Let's see, then we have non-battle moves, so I'll move the 7th Schutzen 1, do I want to move them 2 to Lille, or... I think I want to move them to Lille, because I want to be able to deploy a force somewhat forward this turn. Then the Totenkopf will move 1 to Dinant, 2 to Cambrai, so I can hold that allied objective. Then we get... Then we go for a supply check, but I think we're all clear. Because we have to, have, we only have, to, we can only have two space, two forces on each space. So I think the only one that would be in danger of that is Calais, but we're all clear there. So okay, so we're all clear on the supply check. Now for the Axis resupply check. So we get two points per Allied objective held. Right now we hold. Would we be considered to hold Arras since we were the last one to move through it? Um. I've got to look, because that could... Uh, placing new forces. An area must be held. 
Um, the area... It doesn't say if the force... I think that, I think Arras is still considered to be held by the Allies because it's one of their... It's one of their objectives, but we do hold Cambrai, so that gives us two. We moved everything this turn, so we don't get any resupply points there. But we do get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more resupply points. So that's a total of nine. Um, five brings out a Panzer Division, which is actually re really tempting. So five for a Panzer Division and eight supplies. That seems like it could be pretty good. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll bring we'll bring the 15th Panzer out, which is basically another... It's basically just a clone of the 25th Panzer that we've been using, and that we get to deploy that. The question is, where do I want to deploy that? Because we've already cleared the supply check, so we won't have to check for supply until next turn. And in fact, on a non-battle move, if we don't get anything in the way, we could probably go straight for Cherbourg next turn. So I think I will deploy this. Actually, I can't deploy it in Calais. But I can deploy it in Lille. Being able to deploy it in Calais would be way too broken. And then just eight supplies, I think. So that'll be two fours. So that'll bring me up to that'll bring me up to nine supplies. As it is, we're going to be disrupting Calais already in terms of the Allied supply check. So I think we are all set there. And where do those They'll move the Allied forces? Okay, so they do go back to the reinforcement cup. So the Allies don't have a destroyed pile, which means we might be seeing these units again. And I think their reinforcement bag is right here. That's going to be fun. But anyway, that will do it for our turn. So now we've got to deal with the Allies in their turn. So they start off with a refit, but they only have one unit on the board right now. Battle move... Uh, oh, wait. Allied operation check. So we need to get into the... Allied Operation Bag. Alright, and their operation here is one advance. So when we finally draw the Go Command out of the Allied Operation Bag, we'll be... Um, we'll be, ad we'll be ad advancing whenever we get the Go Order. So... With that, we have to go through the Allied Order for the 3rd Motorized Division. So we'll bring the die over here. Uh, for your, You're not in an objective, so where are you moving then? Alright, based on a 1, you're staying put, which you kind of want to be right now, staring down a Panzer Division, but... On that note, so that's the Allied Orders, no battles, Allied Resupply. So, roll once for Can Calais, Paris. So, Can is going to be unencumbered here. A four gives them a force in, Cal in Can, which I believe, yep, that's this bag. We put a lot back in the bag, so this could be potentially a problem. Well, maybe not. The 11th Derm's back, so they go to Ken. Then Calais, we actually hold the hold that area, so this roll, so whatever this roll is, is a plus three. Six plus three is nine, so they can just get a supply out of that. Which means that will become a three. They should have... Actually, no. We'll just get another single out. And then for Paris, the Allies will get another force. Or we'll get an unencumbered roll. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping for just... Well, do I hope for supplies? Or... I don't know what I hope for here. That's another force in Paris.
All right, so the force in Paris, the first Tyneside is back. So that's rather unfortunate for us, but that will do it for the round. So we're into turn three and we're back to the top of the sequence of play. Looking at the board here, I've got a couple of things I could try to do. I could potentially try to move down and take Ken to make their resupply check that much harder and set myself up to end the scenario next turn. Moving down here and taking, trying to take Paris wouldn't be a terrible thought either. Um, so I got a couple things I could pursue. Question is, what do I want to go for? Let's see, I could bring the... I could bring the 25th Panzer... Actually, I could... I, no, I could actually... What I could do here is I could actually bring the 25th Panzer over toward Ken with the 78th Artillery, then bring the 15th down, and I still have a Panzer Division to work on... to try to work on Paris. So I think that's what we're going to do here. And I'm going to plan on bringing the 7th Schutzen down to hold a Ross to give me more resupply points at the end of the turn. Plus, I want to make sure a unit still holds Calais to make the Axis, or make the Allied resupply rolls a bit more difficult. So, for battle moves, I'm going to move the 78th Artillery, 1, 2 to Can, along with the 25th Panzer is going to go join them there. Then the 15th Panzer is going to move down to Paris, and the Totem Kopf is going to move to... Um, Paris. So we'll resolve the battles from, we'll resolve the battles from Cherbourg and work our way east. So in Cherbourg, the Allies have seven supply points. So they'll spend one to get plus one battle plans. So they'll actually get two battle plans. So two battle plan, two, drop that one in, okay. So we can see what we've got here. We've got an air raid and an overrun, both of which we've been using to somewhat great effect. And then we, this, this both of our two battle plan point units, so we have a total of six battle plan points, two of which are going to Intel. And I think here I'm gonna try to disrupt the allies to make Paris a little easier. Let's see, exploit does nothing right now because... exploit right now does nothing because they're both their maximum movement. I have three points left, so... And I can't get... Or I can't get assault, which would be very useful. Um... Do we go... Do we go Tactics Air Raid, or do I want to try to overrun Can? Um... I think I will... I think we'll go Tactics, so I can reroll something. Um... AT Guns. And press because I'm going to try to end the. I'm going to try to end the scenario next round. We didn't have to do a refit because we were already at full strength. I did forget to advance the turn counter to May 28th to June 4th, 1940. So Intel goes off first, which will cancel one of the battle plans for the Allies. All right, so we'll keep that one. And that one dropped on the floor, but that's the one we're canceling, so we are canceling the overrun, so the Allies won't defend at plus one, which means they do have an air raid. So I'll roll for the Axis units first, and then I'll decide what tactics I want what I want to re-roll. So first up we'll actually roll for the AT guns. One to two gives me a hit. That's a three, so that does nothing. Then we'll disrupt. 
I'd like to, ideally I'd like to see a 1 to 3 here so that they don't get extra battle plans in Paris. That's a 5, so they lose 1 supply, but they'll still get the battle plan in Paris. Uh, we rolled for the air, actually no, we haven't rolled for the air raid yet. Alright, so we'll go ahead and roll for, let's roll for the air raid first, just so it's done and out of the way. That's a four, so the air raid doesn't do anything. Now we can roll for the actual battle. All right, so rolling for the 78th artillery first, they hit on a three or less. That's a two, so that's one hit for the, that's one hit for the axis. Then we'll roll for the 25th panzer. Here we wanna, here actually I'm not bothered about the here, I'm actually not bothered about the superscript, so as long as I hit, which would have been a superscript hit anyway, so I'm not bothered there, then the 11th Durham hits on a 2 or less, which means press becomes useless now. A 2, which I'll re-roll. I'm pretty sure I can use tactics to re-roll their battle plans. I've been assuming that I can, unless the re Okay, so I've actually I've been I've been using it wrong. You can immediately reroll one of your die rolls. Never mind. So actually, that will be one hit for the allies. The way it's worded on the chit is actually a little bit confusing because the way it's worded, the way tactics is worded. Where is it? Here we go. It just says reroll one roll. I wish I could say reroll one own roll. Because in, there are other games where you can use rerolls to influence the enemy's rolls. But, I'll use that to damage the 78th artillery, but the 11th Durham is destroyed, and neither one can get an upgrade. So now we'll move over to Paris, and we'll go ahead and roll for, and we'll go ahead and draw battle plans first. So we'll spend a supply and get two more, and get two battle plans. Now, one thing to note about this battle, is they're actually in a fortified location, so everything for their defense is going to be plus one. So we'll get the two battle plans out for the allies. So two there. And we have, I'll just flip both of these over. So press for one more round and ambush to roll first during the first round of combat. So I get a total of four battle plan points, which two of which are going to go into intel. I'll disrupt and we'll get, and we'll take AT guns. So intel goes off first, canceling one of these. Here I almost wouldn't mind a... Here I almost wouldn't mind losing the ambush. I'd rather see the press stay. Keep that one. And then the one we're canceling is the press. That's the one I would have rather seen stay. So the allies will get to roll for... Actually, yeah, the allies will get to roll first. So they defend on three or less. That's a six for the first tie side, so no dice there. Then the third motorized also depends on a three or less. That's a four, so no defense there. Which means now we get to we get to attack, so I'll roll for disrupt first. That's a three, so they actually lose two supplies and go down to two, which is very helpful for us. Now we'll actually roll for hits, so they don't they don't do anything this round. All right, so the fifteenth Panzer hits on a. Actually, let's roll for the AT guns as well. We got the minus two supplies that we wanted to see. Roll for the AT guns. A five does nothing, so both of those battle plans are done. Now we'll roll for the fifth Panzer. They hit on a five or less with a superscript of. One of two. That's a five, which will be a hit. 
And then the Tonin Cox. Doesn't hit. So we get one hit, which will assign to the first Tyne side, but then we have to retreat because we didn't destroy everything there. So the 15th Panzer goes back to uh, Amiens, and the Totenkopf goes back to Cambrai, thankfully not harmed. So we don't have any more battle moves, which means we go into non-battle moves. So I'll bring the 7th Schutzen down to Arras, which will hold the objective, and barring anything catastrophic, on the next non-battle move, we're actually going to win the scenario. But, anyway, so non-battle moves are done. We'll go through supply check. So we have no uh, no units with at least two spaces on, or with at least with more than two units on the space, so we're clear there. Axis resupply. So we get two per allied objective held. We hold two right now for four. Two per axis force that didn't move this turn. The six Schutzen's holding Calais. So that's another six plus one for the 11th Durham that we took out is seven. So we have seven supply points. Um... Do we want to bring in our other Panzer Division? Eee. Yes, I think we will bring in the Panzer Division. We'll bring that into Lille. And since we were the last one to move in there. And then we will bring in... And then for two... We have two left, so we'll buy another four supplies, which will bring us up to... Which will bring us up to 13 supply points. So for the Allies, um, we don't have any Allied forces in, in objective, so... So we have both the first Tyne side and the third. So we'll roll for the first... Actually, we gotta do the, the operation check first. This could be catastrophic, but... Alright, so that's back to the... Okay, that's the Allied bag. Just making sure I had that straight. This is the operations bag. So basically, we're hoping to not see it go here. All right, here's the moment of truth. Plus one force, so we, so we actually dodged the bullet here. Let's see what's joining the Allied operation. The 11th Derm's coming right back out. So once the, so once they get the go objective, they'll, that force will join the operation, but I don't think we're going to see the go objective here. So we did the allied operation check, then allied orders. So we'll, so we've got these two forces that aren't in a, um, that aren't in an objective. So I've got the die in there already. So we'll roll for the first time side first. I'm hoping, they're probably hoping to God they don't see an advance here. As it falls out of the dice, as it doesn't even land in the dice tower. They see a three, so they're moving toward Paris, but they're already in Paris, so they stay put. Then the third. Is getting a random objective, so we're going to roll... All right, so the way we're going to roll that, so that's a random space that they're moving toward. Uh, plus one, and a minus one per axis force in the region. So they have one force here, which means they go objective, then objective, lose a supply. So they're actually, it looks like they're actually moving toward Cambrai and losing a supply. So it looks like we're going to have another battle on our hands, which means the allies have only one supply, so they're going to get a... So we're going to get one battle plan out of this. Come on, there we go. Alright, so this is the battle plan the Allies get. They, can, they exploit, they can advance if all enemy units are destroyed. Which means we have two battle plans that we can buy, but we can spend Supply points to get more. So, 
I don't think we're going to get destroyed here anyway, so I think what we're going to do is with two, and then we'll, we will spend four supply points so we can buy, so that'll give us four more points worth of supply plan, of battle plans. Um, that's an infantry division, so let's go for, let's go for a dig in so we can absorb a hit if we, in case we, if we need to, and AT guns, and I'm, yeah, I'm not bothered about the, and we'll go for press. I'm not bothered here about the exploit because I don't think they're going to, I don't think, even if they score one hit, we just use the dig in to absorb it and then the scenario still ends on the next, well, hopefully still ends on the next turn. But let's go ahead and roll for the battle. So we'll roll, we'll go ahead and roll the allies. They hit on a three or less. Get in the tower. There's a four, so that's nothing for them. We'll roll for the AT guns. That's a th that's a three, so we actually don't score a hit. Then we defend on a one or less. That's a two, so we don't defend there. So basically nothing happens. But we have one more round because of press, and we've used all of our battle plans already. So now we can t now we can actually take a hit. So they hit on a three. That's a four, so nothing there. We defend on a one. That's a nothing as well. So the third just retreats back to Paris. Then we do a resup. Then now it's time for the allied resupply check. So starting off in can, this rolls plus three because we hold the area. Six plus three is nine, so they just get a supply out of it. Calais is also plus three because we have the six Schutzen up there. That's a one plus three is four, so we actually get a force out of there. Which means we're going to have another battle immediately, which is a bit of a problem, especially if we pull an armor division out of here or something. Ask, and ye shall receive clearly. Okay, so I think this... So I think if a unit comes out, we just resolve the bat. We just go through battle until somebody's destroyed, right? I don't think there's any kind of retreat here. Um, place the new allied forces using the same rules for placement. Um, wait, have I been doing this wrong? Where they go? Back to the reinforcement cup. Okay. Um, I'm just I'm checking something here because I'm not completely sure if there's still a retreat or immediately resolve a battle. Ignore any press plans and continue performing battle until only one side remains. Okay. So basically, press doesn't press isn't relevant. So basically, right now we're in a battle of last man standing. So get a battle plan out for the allies. So their battle plan is to overrun, oh joy, with two points, um, I'll spend four more, I'll spend four supplies to get four more battle plan points, two for an intel because I do not want that overrun to happen, um, unfortunately that's an infantry unit, so assault doesn't do anything here. Let's go AT guns, air raid, and tactics, now that I know how that works. So Intel goes off, which cancels their overrun. Oop, I think that was the reinforcement cup that I put the... Yep. No. No, that's battle plans. Never mind. Derp. Okay, so... 
The overrun's canceled, which means we're not getting any problems there. So the so the armor division hits on a five or less, and I'm hoping for no superscript. So of course I get a superscript, which is a bit of a problem. So that's two hits there. Then we'll roll for our battle plans. So the AT guns on a one to two, we get a hit. That's a four. I was hoping it would fall, but it didn't. Then the air raid, one to three, gives us a hit. That's a one, so that's a hit for us. And then the six shoots and defends on a three or less. That's a five, which I'll re-roll now that I know how tactics works. And I've been incorrectly using it to influence the enemy rolls. That's a one. So basically both sides just take each other out. So that's destroyed axis, destroyed allied. And the upgrade goes back to the cup. And then I think we, I don't think we rolled for Paris yet. So the only good thing for the allies coming out of that is Calais is now no longer being held. But we get the allied reinforcement check. A four gives them another force. Not that I think it's going to matter coming up into this next turn. So I think this is their force bag. Yes, it is. The fifth dim is back, so they go to Paris. Anyway, that's it for the Allied round. So now we're into back to we're back to the start of what looks like round four, I think. So we'll advance to to start the turn. We'll advance to June fifth to the fourteenth, nineteen forty. Refit will spend two supplies, so that'll go down to three. We'll refit the 78th Artillery, just to make sure it's at full strength, because why not? Battle moves, I don't think we really care about any battle moves right now, because they, sure they hold Paris by a long, by a margin, but I don't think we really care about that, because we only care about the spaces that are marked with the flags, I believe. I believe those are the objectives. If they are, then, yep, areas with flags are the objectives. Okay, so... Alright, so in that case, I think we skip right through the battle moves, because we're not going to have any battle moves. The non-battle move is the 78th Artillery. We'll move into Cherbourg, and we hold all three... We hold all three allied objectives, so the campaign ends, and we score victory points. Now, it's, you might have not been noticing the numbers here, but there's an incentive to score, to end the campaign as fast as possible. In fact, let me zoom in on that just a little bit. But yeah. So we're ending the game at June 5th to the 14th, 1940, which will score, which will score 19 victory points. I wasn't doing anything crazy. I wasn't doing anything crazy. One, two, three, four. I wasn't doing anything crazy here in terms of the extra campaign options, but as we move back up to setup, you can see here that there are some extra campaign options. So, depending on what we do, we can either we can get extra victory points and potentially make the game more challenging. But that is Field Commander Rommel. So in terms of an after action report, it definitely helped, and I'll move back I'll move back up top, try to zoom out a bit so we can get the whole map in shot. It definitely helped that we were able to swarm into Dinant as fast as we were able to. And then just kind of we definitely made very liberal use of the exploit battle plan. We were able to keep moving very quickly after we after we flattened an enemy unit. There were some errors I was making because I'd always because the way the chits worded, and I mentioned this when it happened. It just says reroll one roll. So I was assuming you could use that to influence the I was assuming you could use that to influence their rolls as well, because there are several games where 
if they say re-roll, you can influence the roll on an enemy unit, for instance, on an, on an enemy, for instance, in Cthulhu Death May Die, you can spend stress to re-roll either your own roll or theirs. That's where I was getting the, you can use that to influence their rolls as well. But clearly, clearly mistaken on my part, but I think I'll live at the end of the story. Anyway, and then yeah, we managed to, we mostly used infantry to hold the objective areas. It definitely helped to dig in and Cambrai to make sure we didn't have anything go crazy with the totem cop that was holding right there. So we kind of got away with one there. It also helped that we never got the, it also helped that we never got the go order. So the, the allied forces mostly just stacked up on operations, but we moved, but I guess we moved too quickly for them, hence the name Ghost Division. So that will do it for this playthrough of Field Commander Rommel, and that will close the second game on my Tack Up Wargaming list. Wednesday, we're going to have a post Valentine's Day playthrough of Final Girl, and next week, my war games are going to stay on center stage, along with featuring the first ever app based game on the channel as we play Star Wars Imperial Assault. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.